talk and you laugh. We're going to do it Hello, anymore. hello, everyone. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Opinionated Lushes. Um, Don, great clapping. We that was so appreciate you. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> you were just so excited. I was like, like, you let me clap. Let me do it. <laughs> just do my job, man. It's my oh. one job. Whatever. Jessica, what are you drinking tonight? I. Uh, she's like, I'm getting fine. Fuck you, bitches. I'm on my second job now. Uh, yeah. I, I only had two beers left. And I actually finished them because um, for those that don't know, I do voice acting um, on the side for fun and whatever. Um, and part of that means uh, I'm actually doing a zero the game. It's like zero. I can't remember what the game's called. Like zero escape something something it's one of those visual novel games with like minor gameplay lots of characters and they're doing like a, a voice thing so they got a bunch of voice actors together and they turn the vo voice off on the game and we all just kind of do the voices ourselves while one person is playing the game on on twitch uh the game channel is twitch slash uh captain where is he captain ant pez a N T P E Z. Um, and every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern, that is what I am doing. And I get to I get to play this character called Fi. Really fun. Anyways, I drank both my beers during that. <laughs> Diet Coke. <laughs> Yay. Oh, can you put the link to that in the description so people can get to it? Totally can follow him. He live streams all the time. Um, just on Sundays is when we do the zero space collab. And so only go Sunday so you can see Jessica. Like that. It's only it's only Sundays here. I'll put a even uh for our YouTube followers. Uh I'll put a I'll put a little banner. I'll put a little banner. Give a, give, give, give him a little uh a little, a little there you go. Um, a little love, a little love. A little love. I need to make it a ticker, but I don't remember how to do that. Why are you here? You want me to do there, that? I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I figured it I out. <laughs> too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sonia, <laughs> what are you drinking tonight? Okay, so uh we aren't doing our regular recording days. Uh so I'm just drinking coffee uh because tomorrow is my um really busy days at work so i need to take care of lots of people um so it's uh just coffee <laughs> it's <laughs> not a walmart coffee. job yeah it's not a walmart job yeah. where i can go in smelling like tequila um and gin so it's <laughs> it's a real like responsible real. Adult I, job <laughs> i mean I, that's it like i go in being the adult it's not fun well i love it it is fun i love the people i work with but yeah, so it's just coffee. <laughs> nice. What are you drinking, that, Marie? Mm, um, I just finished my water. I was drinking a pineapple bubbly. This is a very I sober it during, episode. Like, I love it. This is the sober episode. That's the thing. We don't drink every episode, guys. Like and we have it's, fun too. It's like an illusion. Our, yeah. <laughs> an illusion. Like we're still opinionated. Um, we're still funny. And our opinions are like those of drunk people. We're just sober most of the time. Like when we were in Vegas, people came up to us because we were having so much fun together. Really, we weird. were on the plane. Remember soup pants? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> we're just obnoxious. That's it. Like that. <laughs> people have to eavesdrop on us to know what's going on. They're like, "How are I know. these ladies having so much fun?" But then, like, we bring it in them in on our like fun too, and they're just like, "Oh my gosh!" Ha ha ha. <laughs> it's infectious yeah okay i'm going to do our topic yeah we are back <laughs> to the letting wheel. the wheel decide yes <laughs> on december 2nd we'll have a topics game ready for you guys to play <laughs> what songs do you listen to over and over again oh shit I gotta pull up my Spotify. I'm not very good with names. <laughs> I know. Like, wait, wait, this is what you need to like. Okay, who wants to go first? Mm. I've been in like a really big like early 2000s to like pump me up for my running. Let me go to my I go to YouTube music. Um, like my last song is Let It Rock from Kevin Rudolph. You guys remember that one? Yes. Let it rock, rock. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I've been listening to a lot, a lot of early 2000 R&B because that was like what played the most back then. It was one of the, the most popular type of music. Lots of Usher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lil John, yeah. Akon, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't really like the Black Eyed Peas, but they seem to be in on it a lot. Pony from Genuine, remember? Yeah. yeah. Although, oh, yeah. like, that's made a comeback a few times. Yeah. But my usual songs, now I'm, I'm going to leave it, and now this is going to be gone. That I listen to the most is Ed Sheeran. Ooh, which song? Oh, forget. It's, uh, I don't even remember, man. It has shivers. Oh. It just always puts me in a good, like, kind of, like, mood. Like, it's, it's not, like, my favorite song, but, like, it just always. Yeah, the vibes are right. I saw Ed Sheeran live in Toronto once, and he forgot and messed up the lyrics to A-Team and had to stop. Oh, I love A-Team. I know. And he had to stop and restart. And he's like, I played this song thousands of times. I don't know why this happened right now. <laughs> so. There it used to have your most played songs. But. I go through phases. It's like every once in a while, a song will just hit my ear holes and I have to listen to it until I hate it. But I don't hate it. I listen to it over and over. You know what's a band I haven't listened to in a while? City in Color, mm. Dallas Green. I used to listen when Kyle and I first started dating, like, or just shortly after. I don't know. The sea time has blended in so much. Like, it was always, always Dashboard Confessional. That's when yes. Kyle and I were dating. That was all the time. You know, I don't get to listen to music as much as I'd like. I think that's the problem. Like, as a grown-up, like, it's... Well, like, I mean, now that you're, like, running and stuff, you can kind of, like, use that time. Yeah, oh I do. Oh, my God. Wait, did you get some, too? Yes. Oh, my God. Hold on, guys. I... <laughs> what the lot. hell? <laughs> that's a good portion. Yeah, okay. I'm eating well tonight. Thank you, baby. Do that little John, yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I have I go on TikTok a lot and I I am on like music TikTok, band TikTok, that kind of thing. Um and every once in a while there'll be like a song or an artist on there and I'm like, "Oh my god, this is so good." And I like have to add them like right to my my playlist. And there's a there's a couple um artists uh from TikTok that I've like become really addicted to maybe not their entire work but at least the songs that i hear the recent yeah um there was one song that was released a year ago uh that i still have to listen to every once in a while uh by a band called hey nothing um and the song is called i haunt your dreams and it's such it's it's this like these this best friend duo it's like this the way they sing is amazing the way they they blend like their vocals the drums i'm very into like folk punk so it oh, kind of i like, love folk punk yes yes yeah. yeah so there's a few there's a few bands so that's one of the bands um uh sister wife sex strike is another folk punk band i found via tiktok and they are also really really good i love <laughs> i love them every I find like a lot of that genre, it just it just hypes me up. Like it makes my bones shiver. I don't know how else to like describe <laughs> yes, it. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to go kill a cop or something. Um, you know, like I don't I don't know what it is, but uh uh it, it's like those are the kind of the songs that um I'm always kind of playing. And a lot of um speaking of kill a cop. Call ACAB is one of my top. Oh, yeah. Sam Stone, he follows me, by the way, on oh, TikTok. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Sam Stone. Uh, he actually just had a health crisis uh, oh. a month ago. Yeah, he had to, like, uh, I don't know, something was failing, and he had to go in the hospital for a bit. But he's back, and he's okay. And, um, yeah, I, I really hope he releases more music, because I love Call a Cab. It's yeah, it was so, so good. good. I don't know. Some, fade Away from some bitch named Jessica Hart. That's on my one of my <laughs> top. <three. laughs> For a second, I thought the song was called "Fade Away," some bitch, and I was like, "Oh, that's deep. That must <laughs> that <laughs> mean something." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, and the Front Bottoms is another band I listen to a lot because they have a lot of songs about hating your dad, which, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what about you, dad. Don? Um, lately, again, like you, like I get songs from like TikTok and whatever, and then I'll like listen to them. But lately I've been listening to a lot of like Melanie Martinez. Um, and I've been listening to Bad Omens. So when you showed me that shirt, I didn't even click in that that was the artist until someone said that. And I was like, oh my God, it is. Okay, we need to like explain to our listeners. So um, for those uh, listening, we uh, currently, um, by the time this episode is out, the contest will be over, I believe. But we have a giveaway going on on our Instagram. We also have um, our live stream uh, December 2nd coming up. Um, where we're fundraising and we're going to have a lot of prizes. So I had ordered some merch shirts um, to, to give away. So you can have an opinionated luscious t-shirt. And uh, there was a, an additional shirt in there that I did not order filled <laughs> with a collage of pictures of this one man. And uh, yeah, I guess it was the lead singer of the bad omens, which I, I didn't know that. So yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Red Bubbles never messaged me. Like they're not like, hey, by the way, you might have gotten a yeah. no, hey, nothing. Where, where'd you get this from? <laughs> no yeah. idea. I just got a free uh, bad omen shirt. You're welcome to have it, Don, if you want. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> sweet. Sweet. There's this yeah, band no. I used to love like 20 years ago. I'm trying to remember their name. Uh, but they're like now they're on TikTok a lot. Like the Andy Black, that that band. Yes, from um, yes. Uh, if Black Veil Brides or whatever yes. it's called. Yes, yes. That, that I only have one song I really like from them, um, but I'm like, hey, I love this band. It's only one song. <laughs> the, often when I'm like, oh my god, I love a band, it's only one song. I don't have yeah. time to listen to CDs over and over again. You get one song, guys. One song. <laughs> no, I totally get that because half the time I would listen to a whole CD and there'd only be like a couple of songs that I actually liked on it. Back in the day when we would buy CDs and then yeah. like, yeah, we'd only go get for like the three songs that were on the radio. Like, yeah, the rest was filler, right? Like that was. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I'm like the same where it's like even some of my favorite bands, there's only like a handful of songs that I really like or I really know. You know, yeah. because I'm not listening to their whole disc disc discography. I don't I don't like any band that much. I don't think Kyle will listen to Mariana's Trench, just like instead of like one song, like he'll be making dinner and it's the whole fucking CD. Like Chris is the I same. By Mariana's Trench, I like that. I like them. I, I saw like them live. Too. I've I seen have... them live too. Yeah, Sound of Music. I uh, yes, Sound of Music and. Um, they were also at the X, the exhibition. Um, I'm trying to think of where else. I've seen them a few times, but yes, yeah, Sound of Music first, and the exhibition. The first time I saw them live, I was actually pregnant with Ernest, um, and they were playing at our local college, and I had a college student sign me in, and uh, they all signed my shirt where I was like pregnant because uh, I was like seven months pregnant here, so I definitely had a belly, and Ian, the drummer, kissed my belly, so um, I was pretty uh, happy about that. That was That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and the second time was Sound of Music. I haven't um, seen it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's because you don't really like like that scene, right? No, probably... yeah. I I rather yeah. like just cool in the dark. Like we could go in a to a park and like listen to a radio in the car. That's like going out listening to a band. <laughs> we'll have to uh, pay for a private show once we're a big famous podcast. Yeah, yeah, you know, one day. Oh, oh, or or we can do the Ryan Seacrest thing where we invite them on our podcast and have them play one song acoustically. Uh, we can have a radio show podcast yeah. Yeah. where we're actual radio show. Ooh, like the old man's podcast. He's like just an actual radio show. Like <laughs> he's not a podcast. He's a radio show, which I absolutely adore. We got to like, find a Friday morning we can call in. At together. 6 a.m. Our, our time. No, wait. Here is 6 a.m. So 7 a.m. Our time. It's, it's not too late, baby. I'm just like, oh, man. That's so or, No, would it be 5 a.m. our time? No. no. Are you yeah, an hour ahead or behind? I'm ahead. Okay. 
So six hours. He's three hours ahead of you guys. Yeah. So then it'd be four. So it'd be 10 a.m. for me. That's not too early. I no. just like, once you get the kids ready in the morning and then all of a sudden you're like, I just need to relax. Like, yeah. No, I get it. Oh. Nighttime's where it's at, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> I may be tired, but I'm also super energetic and excited. I don't know how he has the energy to do it every morning. Because he's doing it Monday thing. through Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just so used to it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We're like the sleep in generation. We're like, man, if, just wait until noon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you guys seen Peach PRC on TikTok? No. She's I haven't little... been on for a while. So okay. She's know. this she's this little like pixie of a girl. She's like pink hair. I think she's from Australia or something. Cause she always goes, no, no, <laughs> you know, like that's how she talks. Uh, but she does have one song called God is a Freak. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to get too excited. But <laughs> That's all another song I listen to a lot. So uh, yeah, me no, I too. I love it. I That's just think it's so great. Yeah. Some words I don't understand, and they like sound different in my head every single time. But majority of it, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. Because it, it makes, makes so, so much, much sense. sense. Like, why <laughs> does God care <laughs> Jeez, what I'm yeah. doing? So yeah. Much. I just love how it's worded. Being railed on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Love it. <laughs> right. I, I love TikTok for that. Like, it, uh, uh, so Chris, obviously, he does music too. So on his TikTok, he gets music. But I find like we get different music. So some of the times he'll be like, man, why are all the songs that go viral on TikTok start with the word bitch? And I'm like, <laughs> none of the songs I listen to that have gone viral <laughs> yes. like, start with the word what, bitch. What like, is he watching on TikTok? Then? Yeah, I'm like, well, because it's like rap and stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or like hip hop. But I'm like, yeah. you know, none of the songs, like, like, could you imagine, like, bitch, if I were a fish? Like, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't really work, right? Like, it's just like, no, no, no. It's, if I were a fish and you caught me, you'd say, look at that fish. So, uh, <laughs> look at that fish. <laughs> look at that fish. <laughs> so, I, I find that's, like, really funny, too. I do get a lot of, like, um, uh, there's another artist I listen to a lot called Ro Capera. Kapara, I'm not to pronounce it. Um, and a lot of his songs are like a very short, so very listenable, like two two minutes, two minutes thirty seconds. Um, but they're all about like the world. Like he has one song called "Everyone's Dying," and it's in brackets, "Grandma's Drunk Again." Or he has another one called <laughs> "The Nuke Song," and it's about like nuclear explosions and stuff. Or "Everything's Fine," nuke song. Um, and uh, oh, uh, like uh, almost kind of the same vibe as call a cab you know like it's very this is the problems in the world uh he also has another song called employment cost because it's about like if you killed yourself they don't care it's just an employment cost um and i tend to like like those songs because i'm like yeah the world's fucked up but i got <laughs> jams you know like <laughs> yeah yeah there's a lot of music where it's just like well music definitely started when just to help you get past the shitty times right it was just like Let's talk about it. Let's, like, and comedy is just like, let's be entertained because it's shitty. <laughs> at, yeah. least, at least we can have fun with it. I, I do find like, like Chris um, with his music specifically, he tries to make like happy music, uplifting music. Mm -hmm. um, me, I, I like the stuff that makes me feel either pissed off or sad. You know, like that's the, yeah. the stuff that really strikes an emotional chord. Like I'm like, oh my god. Like, girl, that's the shit right there. <laughs> I need to be happy, though. Like, I enjoy listening to the world on fire kind of songs. But, like, it just needs to be cutesy. Yeah. Uh, the music yeah. needs to be happy. The yes. lyrics need to be real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like those, too. Anything that's, like, cutesy, I really like. Um, except for I'm still listening to, like, songs I listened to, like, 20 years ago. 20 plus years ago. Uh, I think those still get the most playtime. They're like comfort songs, right? I'm like, I'm not ready to listen to something new right now. I need to stick with what I know. So like Queen gets a lot of play, yeah. Our Lady Peace. <laughs> I I haven't listened to Pearl Jam in a while. I used to love Pearl Jam, but I don't know. I don't know what happened to... We like have it. a car playlist. That's the 
the playlist we listen to when we're driving. And Chris and I both add songs and we try to add songs that either uh, we know the other person would like or we know the other person would know. So it, it goes from like the 80s all the way up to now. But it's such like a wide mix of genres and artists and just whatever and it's it's and we have pearl jam on there we we have smash mouth on there we have um uh just a- any anything that was played on the radio in the 90s and early 2000s is definitely on there <laughs> um is there like a a movie soundtrack or anything that you guys like listen oh my to? god i no- used to listen to um gone in 60 seconds soundtrack like, you know, the, the movie for, like, Nicolas Cage? I used to listen to the soundtrack, like, from, like, beginning to end, over and over again. Like, bring Sally up, bring Sally down. Da, da, you like know, like that song. one? Yeah. I know. There were some, a lot of good songs on there. The most recent one is Guardians of the Galaxy. That had, like, a lot of good songs on it. Yes. And then the one before that um, is the most soundtracky play that I've ever replayed over and over and over again is um oh, what is the one with Hugh Jackman the uh um, the day uh it's a circus uh greatest oh, showman that one yes. sorry that was one. Be like, really good. <laughs> no no no, no the, the greatest yeah, showman the ones, yeah. yeah that's amazing soundtrack too I love that one uh but before that um glee i really like glee oh, yeah, i love glee <laughs> covers they're so awesome i just love like show like broadway show music it's like something i really enjoy too like pitch perfect oh i love pitch perfect too yeah my my movie soundtrack i listen to is encanto Oh my gosh, Encanto! <laughs> yes, surface pressure or like don't talk about Bruno and all you that kind of stuff all Bruno. the time, all the time. I listen to that in the shower and I do all the voices. My kids won't watch that fucking movie. I like. There's something with my kids. I'm like, is it a generation thing? But no, it's just my kids. My kids don't watch movies. Um, there's something wrong with them. They're broken. Well, they are. They have autism, but like. <laughs> I just like let's watch movies like I, we have all this like Kyle and I are always doing this like pop culture kind of like references all the time and we're trying to get our kids in on it and they pretty much just tell us to fuck off. Okay. Um, yeah. Without those words. But <laughs> they're just I don't know. Do your kids watch movies? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, no. Okay. Lyric doesn't. I tried to get her to watch Encanto because I figured, you know, songs, dancing. The only thing she will watch that's like a movie is um, Frozen. And she only watches it for like the first little bit. She loves like when they're getting the ice in the beginning and the trolls. And then after that, she loses interest. Um, but uh, Ernest, he does watch movies like a lot. But a lot of the movies are very like superhero Marvel Star Wars, that kind of thing. So whenever I'm like, "Hey, you want to watch a movie I like?" He's like, "No, <laughs> no, no, thank you." you. <laughs> I took him to see Labyrinth, and he like, I wasn't even sure if he was going to stay for the whole thing because I was like, "No, it's really good movie. There's monsters and things. You'll like it, you know." But he's like, "What is the special effects? You know, it's no Marvel." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and what about Nick? Does he like movies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he goes to the theater, like, all the time. He actually went to see the Barbie movie once. Like, he doesn't care what movie it is. Um, uh, you remember the movie, the Mi- not the Minions, but it was the one with um, the rising of Gru or whatever? Yeah. He went with his friends movie, yeah. all dressed up in suits. Like, like that was a trend, and my oh, kid yeah. did it. That's hilarious. Yeah. I remember that trend. I mean, I saw my kids aren't TikTok. that cool. The last movie we saw was <laughs> Pikachu Detective. <laughs> my kid so nick like i said he went to see barbie so for halloween he dressed up as ken uh about okay i i now i haven't seen barbie though but he was telling me there's like some dojo something ken. dojo mojo cat's <laughs> house or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I apparently he has to have a big like fur coat or whatever nope yeah nick caught that nick was like yeah no listen this is who i'm gonna be for halloween i'm not being no other ken i'm being this ken and i was like what's the difference? And he's like, listen, there's a difference. And so that's what he was for Halloween. Yeah. No, so yeah, no, awesome. he watches movies. 
Yeah, the last movie um, uh, Ernest actually saw with me was Five Night Freddy's, which came out like last week. So oh, I'm gonna have to convince. Maybe my kids will watch that with me because they do like Five Night Freddy. So maybe I can convince them. The movie I loved it. If you are an uh, like people have been giving mixed reviews, and I feel like the difference is is whether or not people are fans of Five Night Freddy's or not. Because if you're a fan of Five Night Freddy's, you're gonna like the movie. Um, and it's also a great intro scary movie. Mm. You know, like it's not very scary. Like I'm like it's not like super dark. It's not like anything like yeah. that. I feel like it's a good intro for kids into horror. So I'm really hoping the movies over time get darker, kind of growing. Oh, with like the Harry audience. Potter? Like, yeah, Harry but Potter. like getting yeah. more and more dark and gory. Oh, and that'd scary. be so cute. Right? Because the first oh. one, it has like a couple cool kill scenes and stuff like that, but it's pretty quick. There's not like as many jump scares as I thought was going to be in a Five Night Freddy's movie. Pretty much, you know, like it's not, it's not like that. It's more just like story and, and the eerie feeling and just like that kind of stuff so i'm really really hoping they go darker with it over time so then it's like a horror movie you can grow up with you know (laughs) i would like that just like that yeah my kids do watch country crunchy roll crunchy roll anime Yeah. yeah any anime well not any but like crunchy roll and then like i think they just don't like spending time with me i feel like <laughs> i think that's what it is like, like, the denominator yeah because i'll be like oh like i love that stuff let's watch it they're like eh. although i've been watching loki um as a bedtime story and uh sage has been coming into our room because she can't sleep alone right now and uh she's like oh my gosh now i have to watch loki all the time so maybe <laughs> i can get her to watch that i like I want to wait until Loki's done, like forever. And then I'm going to like cut out all of the freaking, the, they have like two intro uh, credit scenes, like two introductions and then a long ending. So we'll have at the beginning of episode one, we'll have one intro and then I'll cut all of them out throughout the end until the last episode ever. And then there'll be an end. I just hate how there's like only 15 minutes in between all the episodes like that's it like it's a 30 minute 25 minute show and like 10 minutes of it is credit scenes that's annoying she hulk was like that too though i loved she hulk but stupid credit scenes (laughs) (laughs) it's so bad for that well if you do see fnaf there is a quick uh credit scene so make sure to stay for the credits Oh, afterwards? Is yeah. it after one? Oh, okay. After a credit scene, yeah. I like really being warned about those. Yeah, I like knowing when there's going to be after yeah. credit scenes. But yeah, it's, it, 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 it was fun. And the audience was fun. You know, like a lot of the audience was like, wow, it's Freddy. Oh, <laughs> you know, like cheering on. I like when the audience is able to interact like that without being like stupid and talking over the talking parts. Yeah. Is there, was it in theaters? I saw it yeah. in theaters. It, it it did come out the day after it appeared in theaters on some streaming service that it has exclusivity. I don't remember which one. Paramount? Um, yeah, maybe. We already downloaded it, so I don't know what. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, we saw it in theaters. The next movie oh, okay. we're planning on seeing at the end of this month is uh, Hunger Games. A uh, Ballad of Songbirds oh, yeah, and Snakes. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited for that. I didn't read the book yet. Have you? Yes. I read the book when it came out. I don't have to. I don't, Two years ago, I think. Not at my library. I, I did not read the book. Like I've read the first three, and then I stopped because I was so mad at the ending of it. That I didn't like it. Well, the book is a se- is a prequel. Yeah. So yeah, I know. I heard it's from how Snow becomes how he is. I'm worried that they're going to focus on the love aspect when it's in the book. That's not the focus. You know, yeah. like, I feel like that's going to be an issue in the movie, but I'm, I'm not, you know, we will see. We will see. So. <laughs> we will see. Yeah. 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 Anyways, songs. What songs do we Song. listen to? Song. I love, like, music has played, like, um, so growing up, I never had therapy. Uh, so <laughs> music <laughs> explains a lot. Uh, so music was always, like, a constant support for me. Like, since I got into music early, I'll say eight years old, it became like 
a passion of mine, not playing music, listening, like picking the best songs, having the best mixtapes and like CDs. Like it was like, I just all day, all of my free time. And then when I was about 11, I started skipping school. And like, that was like my outlet. Like I needed an out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, just music. It was my favorite thing. And I try to get just that with my kids. Yes. Oh what sorry Sonia you continue <laughs> no, no you can talk to Jessica it's fine <laughs> you said um, that so like ask. Jessica <laughs> I know it was like really intense done. and then she started again I was like oh shit I cut her off um no I was gonna ask what was your first CD that you ever bought or cassette um okay the first cassette I ever owned I was actually given to by my dad and it was the the Ramones Okay. Yeah, you know, Blitzkrieg Bop and all that. Uh, I was a big Ramones head uh, as like a five year old. So that's when I had my cassette tape. Um, I think the first, it, it's hard as I didn't have a lot of money. So I didn't really buy a lot of CDs. And I would get gifted CDs from people that were just like, oh, girls' things, you know? So, like yeah. for my 12th birthday, someone gifted me the Lindsay Lohan CD, <laughs> which to be fair, fucking bop okay if you haven't listened yeah to it, I, I love her music that's a care. city you can listen all the way through okay yeah. like that is all filler or so all killer no filler you know there there you go but i think the first uh album i did buy was all killer no filler by uh some 41 so that was the first album i ever spent my own hard money for nice so what about you my first cassette that i ever got and I don't know if I bought it with like allowance or if someone bought it for me was Alanis Morissette. That was my very first one. Dang. You got and it for Christmas. Her. Maybe. You got, I don't remember. You got, it, you got it for Christmas and you got the Pocahontas soundtrack for Christmas. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I we never had it. the Pocahontas soundtrack. We listened to it all the fucking time. We took turns. Not Pocahontas. Yes. I don't. No, I've never owned Pocahontas soundtrack or the your movie. Mom, your mom would make fun of us. Okay, we would sit on the couch taking turns. She was in her little rocky chair. We would, and then we would sing along with the Pocahontas and like Colors of the Wind and like your mom. But we sounded really fucking terrible. And your mom would make fun of us. <laughs> I don't Nothing know like building up a child's self esteem. Am I right? It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Maybe because I was older than you, so it like stuck in my core memories. Maybe, but I don't remember having anything Pocahontas. Like I remember watching the movie once, and it I was hated so it. Random. <laughs> it was not like something we always did. But you had a CD. It was Alanis Morissette. She probably just got it for like, like you know, where you. I got Alanis Morissette, and then right after, I got Shania Twain and Celine Dion. Like see, like cassettes right after. Yeah, shortly after. Yeah, but for Christmas, you got. <laughs> <laughs> Sonia was there. Okay, <laughs> I was. <laughs> I don't remember Pocahontas. Like, well, it was okay. It was something we listened to all the time. It was like a short-lived like interest. Very li- short-lived because yeah. I don't remember. Like, it was. It lasted like a month. It wasn't. Uh, I remember okay. listening to Backstreet Boys with you and a birthday party, and we all like got those like remember the party hats, and we put them on our butts, and we yeah. danced in front of all the adults. <laughs> yeah, we were. I don't know what was wrong with us, but yeah, we I did that all of us. We didn't know how to act. <laughs> and then oh. Natalie got stung like four times in my backyard that birthday party. Yeah, yeah. Uh, damn. Yeah, yeah. Like we have a lot of like childhood memories together jessica's like sure like just yeah, like, yeah I, I feel like i was there you know <laughs> <laughs> just left out she's like oh, okay <laughs> she's like i was one there too i had a birthday party on my butt sure like a birthday like at whatever oh, no i had a birthday party on my butt like right there <laughs> <laughs> i was there right on my ass you know yeah uh, i i actually i did have the spice girl cd when i was young uh someone gave it to me which thank God, because uh, since we were talking about autism, 
I didn't like the Spice Girls, you know? I was like, oh, it's not girly music. I'm listening to the Ramones. I was a cool five-year-old. Um, so uh, what ended up happening was, obviously, I had nothing to talk about with the other five- and six-year-old girls because uh, boys weren't going to play with me. I was a girl. I had cooties. <laughs> um, so I tried to really fit in, and they were all like, oh, yeah, we're learning the dance to stop right now. I was like, what's that? Like, stop. And, you know, and it's like, stop right now. Thank no, you very thank much. You there's, very a whole, much. <laughs> there's a whole choreographed dance to it. And they're like working on it at recess. And I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know this song. What am I going to do? <laughs> and so, like, I, I like researched, you know, I'm like, I, okay, I'm going to listen to the CD. I'm going to know all the words. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to master the move so that next time when I come in, I'll be ready. <laughs> And so that's what I did. I learned I learned Spice Girl and Backstreet Boys. Um, and I learned all their songs, even though I didn't really listen to them. And just, just in case uh, the other kids brought them up. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know that one. I, I know the answer. <laughs> you can be my I friend. Know the answer. <laughs> I know the answer. Spice Girls was my first date movie. I <laughs> went on my oh, first Spice date. World. Yeah, Spice World. Um, yeah, with my first ever boyfriend. I liked him as a boyfriend. He was really nice. Uh, Nick, if you listen. <laughs> Thanks for being a nice Did you meet him in cadets or something? Yes, yes. Um, and I yeah. never saw him because we couldn't afford a phone. Uh, but when I did see him, it was super cool. And um, one time he put his arm around me and I didn't really like it. I was like, oh, like, I don't like being touched. Sorry. He was totally cool about it. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. And Aww. then we still hung out. So like, yeah, Nick, you're a cool dude. Sorry I ghosted you. Um, uh, but, uh, I went, I was going through a lot. I was almost abducted and I didn't have a phone. And yeah. I was going to say, is it ghosting if you don't have a phone? Well, I would use a pay phone all the time. Um, but yeah, that, that was my first, first date movie, first boyfriend in quotations. I don't know what you call it, but well, I was 13. So I guess it's a boyfriend, boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he counts. I think he, he counts. counts. He like. <laughs> He's a core memory. He counts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I can't even remember the first uh the first movie I saw on a date. No idea. I'd have to look at what came out that year. <laughs> I'm just like, thinking about know. it. Yeah. Like what was my first date movie? I didn't have many dates. So like that was uh why? <laughs> it's funny because I think I only had three dates at a movie theater. Um and I still can't remember what movies they were. I don't think I chose the movies. I think that's why. I think it was more I was there for the date, not for the movie. What movie <laughs> did we see for my birthday that I started dating David at? Oh, I don't know. Because we all went. <laughs> yeah, but we all went. I don't know where you, you dropped off Kara. But, like, it was me, you, David, Tiffany, which was his ex-girlfriend. You was were awkward. 16. Yeah. I was 18. Uh, I'm trying to think of what movie it was. I don't know. Yeah. I don't That's know. Not, I was too tired. I don't fucking remember any, the next 20 years, okay? Like <laughs> <laughs> I remember Spice Girls and Pikachu Pet Titanic. Titanic. Oh, Titanic. I went with my brother, Ken. You went with me, too. Did I go twice? Yeah, we sat in the top corner and we laughed the whole time when Jack was drowning. Yeah, we were demented kids. <laughs> no, that was, I thought it was hilarious younger. The way they had people dying and flipping off the And like pulling off the, propel, their propellers or whatever. Like, yeah. oh my God, that was hilarious. I like, that was like a spoof movie, I'm sure. I like it was. No, I think the 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 era it came out in, they just didn't have very good effects. They yeah, no, that's the really best good. Thing. <laughs> and like every fucking girl in that movie theater cried, and we're like, "What the fuck?" Like it's a dude. No, relax. we were like, laughing. She knew him for a day, guys. A day. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was like just like a one night stand. You don't cry yeah. over one night stands. Yeah, but people it. cry over Romeo and Juliet and it's kind of like the same thing. They like know each other for That's a day. Every Hallmark so movie. Creepy. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, they were like 13 years old. No, she was 13 years old. He, he was, was like 17 years old. I thought he was like 15. No, she. they raise her age in like movies and stuff to 15. 16. Like Claire Danes. Yeah. That but uh, she's technically 12, 13. He's like 17, 18. 
Yeah, but apparently that wasn't problematic back then. It's fine. Well, they needed children to play the women because they couldn't have women act women because <laughs> so, oh, you know so i so say young the younger the girl the better <laughs> they're played by a 10 year old kid 10 year old boys yeah nah. <laughs> uh is there a song in, that was made for a movie that you guys really like you know how they like make fake songs? yes scotty doesn't know <laughs> no yeah that's, always my favorite <laughs> that's too. all one of my top playlists scotty doesn't know doesn't yeah. know that's my favorite made for movie song like, I don't know if, have, if there's any other ones, but that's, like, just the only one I remember because it was so fucking good. Is that from Euro Trip or something? Like, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Euro Trip or yeah. something? Yeah. So good. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple. Yeah. Sky and, um, like, Matt Damon doing it and stuff. Like, so random. Such a... It's a baby Matt Damon. Yeah. By the way, have you yeah. seen? And then I watch it and then I see Matt Damon now. I'm like, fuck, I'm getting old. Like... <laughs> Like, I know I'm old, but like with baby Matt Damon doing the song and then you see him today and I'm like, oh my God. I I'm, never I'm... realize how old I am till I see a celebrity I grew up with, you know, and see how old they are. And then I'm like, oh yep. shit, I fucking aged. Damn yep. it. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> 16, what is this? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I uh, like kid actors when you see them grow up you're like what the fuck because like i grew up with them no yeah. daniel radcliffe he's like old now i was like shit like he has a kid and everything yeah what that happened but like i had my i was an adult when he was still a kid though but like geez <laughs> <laughs> what happened what happened it's kids in my life who are in adults now like my niece turned 25 yesterday and like i changed your diapers like i don't understand i'm like <laughs> but my daughter's 21 you know it's like so it's i understand but it's just it's weird it's weird it's it's more weird when it's other people's kids growing up <laughs> like, yeah well i feel like it's because you don't like anytime you don't see them every day and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden you see them and it's like you notice the aging versus when they're living with you. It's like you don't notice the aging until you like think about it. And you're like, oh, yeah, they're taller than me. It's weird. Oh, when yeah. did that happen? <laughs> when they were 10. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like I think for my kids, too, it's a little bit different because like Kara's going to be living with me her whole life. So the same kind of milestones other 21 year olds are doing. Um, she's not. So like I don't get to age that way through my kids milestones i i age through other people's kids milestones i wasn't even talking about milestones i'm just talking about looking at them <laughs> and looking at them yeah. and looking at them <laughs> look at them but like everybody's kids um uh, have been taller than me since they were about 12 so like it except for constantine my little dwarfism kid <laughs> or 10 yeah ernest is 13 he's taller than me and chris now so he's probably gonna be a six footer or he'll stop growing because Brandon was supposed to be 6'4 and he's only 5'10. All right. He's at, uh, I think, 5'10 now. So we'll so see. We'll, we'll see. see. Couple we'll inches. Like, that's right. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Uh, I did want to give uh, another uh, no, uh, honorable mention to soundtracks I really like. Uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Yes, that's another one. See, the problem is I can't think on my feet. Like, this was a terrible <laughs> topic. I'm you looking them up. I'm looking at my oh, playlist. So cheating. I'm cheating. You're, that's okay. <laughs> you're I, cheating. I, I looked. I was like, what songs do I listen to? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, because like Sex bob has some great hits like Garbage Truck. And uh, I think what Brie Larson um cover of uh black sheep by metric yes, is like yes. so i i personally i i prefer it over the i love version. her version way yeah. better way better. I, love, I just love brie larson she gets a lot of slack but i just love her essence as a human being like i've I never know. met her but like when you watch like her acting her movies her uh the, what are those things interviews whatever like i just I like her. <laughs> hey, hey, Brie, Brie Larson. Oh, uh, big fans. Uh, do you want to be on a yeah. podcast? <laughs> do you want to come on our show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Open invitation. <laughs> so just letting you letting you know. Uh, and then uh, there's a song. Uh, did you guys ever watch Empire Records? The mm -hmm. movie? What's that one? 
Um, uh, it came out in 95 and it had, uh, Liv Tyler in it. It had, um, who's, uh, the diary of Renee Zellweger. Oh, Renee Zellweger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ethan Embry is in it. Um, uh, there, there was like a lot of, uh, big names in it. Um, when they weren't uh, big. Yeah, well, it's kind of like one of their like first like big movies, uh, and it's one of those m- teen movies where they're running like a, a a Empire Records, which was a record store that's being bought by the big blah blah. So they're gonna have one final blowout, and it's Rex Manning Day. There's a lot of like cult niche stuff in it that people celebrate every year because it's like one of those cult classics. But there is a song in there that Renee Zellweger sings a verse in now the song actually was a real song by one of the people's bands in the movie but they just added her verse in the movie and i hate it because you can't find that version oh, anywhere no. <laughs> so uh so that's one of my favorite songs and i wish uh i i mean i could probably torn it like download it from somewhere i think i used to have an mv3 of it but yeah it's not like on a streaming service which is annoying because You'll when you put to- a watch it and then yeah. download it and record this out yourself yes and by the way you guys should watch that movie it's a great movie. it's one of the reasons i uh i got motivated to shave my head because the one character in the beginning she's having a rough day she goes in the bathroom at work and just buzz cuts it gi janes it you know and i was like oh my god she looks so cool and i was like six when the, when the movie came out so i'm trying to think of a. I i don't think i saw that one well we'll have to have no. a movie night yeah, I was like, oh, I don't think I saw that one. I, but I, I feel like I, you'd like I it. I know what you're talking about, but I just haven't seen it. Um, again, 95, I was in the fifth grade. Very poor. <laughs> <laughs> Very poor. Uh, so anywhere from like grade one till about uh, I was 17. Very poor. <laughs> yeah. so, so 17, I started like earning my own money, taking care of my kid, uh, making sure I got to do fun stuff. So it was, uh, you know, a transition. Now I do everything. <laughs> now, now I'm like, I don't care. I'll just pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's it's fun having your own money. Uh, yes, yes. Adult I'm a money. big fan. Big fan of money. But now it's like less fun stuff, more groceries. <laughs> I know it's taking up our money, inflation, shrinkflation, all of it. All of it. And like Statistics Canada is like in denial about it, um, about the amount. And the government goes through Statistics Canada. Um, and that's where they're getting their information. But it's I'm lie. sure they're doing it on oh, purpose. Lie. The government's oh, like, yes. make it look good. Make that it is look exactly good. That's <laughs> what's happening. Because, like, these companies pay their salaries, right? Like, it's mm-hmm. little backdoor deals. Fucking oh. music. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think what other uh, songs I, I listen to. I used to love, like, indie music. I would, like, pirate, like, 3,000 songs at a time. And I would go through all of them and pick my favorite. And then I would like show them to Kyle. And then um, about a year later, they'd be on the radio. And I was like, oh my God, I used to listen to their stuff. Like Sia's one of them. Who's that girl? Like a river. Like a river, that one. She's uh, She used to be more indie, less poppy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I was just like, oh, I love them. And then Fun, I don't know if you've ever listened to the yeah. band Fun. Yeah, they were indie and then they became more mainstream. And I was like, yes, I'm so happy for you guys. I just loved like finding these bands randomly and loving them and then seeing them succeed. I'm like, yeah, good for you guys. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because, yeah, like um, I was listening to Katy Perry when it was on MySpace. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My <laughs> yeah. I was in the panic at the disco when it was on MySpace. Yeah, it was like before before things blew up, and then it's like you're yeah. like, oh well, I, I I follow them on MySpace, so uh, <laughs> that was pretty much yeah. how I found a lot of my music back in the day. Like garage bands, I love garage bands. Um, they're fantastic. Yeah, I, I I I almost like miss that part about music. I think that's one reason I really uh, inc- am, am clinging to like TikTok now because it's just another way for like music discoverability, especially from like indie yeah. musicians and stuff like yes, that. Yes, yeah, yeah. I do have a few. There's this girl named Sarah. I love her. 
Um, she sings Vibrators Are a Girl's Best Friend. But she has <laughs> so many more that I love. Uh, where are you, Sarah? Ooh, the the Not All Men song. I love that one. That's not from her, though. That's from somebody else. Yeah, like I love Paris Paloma. She does the labor song. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah Hester Ross. She's on TikTok, and I love her. Savage Daughter. I love that one. Stop giving men microphones. That's yeah. another one she does. Um, I am also into like women's rage music. Um, yes. Have, so like always cult classic, always a favorite is um, Goodbye Earl. Like that's like you know starts it. The and yes. Yes. They used to be called the Dixie Chicks. I don't know why they changed their name. Uh, because of the racist connotation with Dixie. Oh, okay. History. That's nice. Shh, I'm recording. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I did like them too a lot. I don't really like country music. I liked Taylor when she was doing country a little bit, uh, but I did like the change over to pop music better. Um, I find I like more of her songs that way. Um, I, I like I, I I like go between like I used to say, oh, I hate country music. I don't like country music. But then I'd be like, oh, but this country song I kind of like, you know. I do love uh, a lot of Carrie Underwood because of, like, a lot of that women's rage. Yes, yeah. Before before he cheats. uh, Yeah. Dirty on. Last name. And, uh, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, A lot of, I like Gretchen Wilson because she sings songs, like, all jacked up where she's just getting so drunk. She, like, drove her car (laughs) into a pole and doesn't understand why. And she's like, I'm just all jacked up, you know. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) You know, like so there there's always just sometimes a country song that touches Mm -hmm. my heart. (laughs) Just touches my heart. Shania Twain, girl. Yeah. Classic. I mean, she's on tour. It's very interesting the videos I've seen of her shows now, but you know, she's doing her best. Oh, is that like bad? Is she doing bad? Um it like a lot of it looks like she's trying to be young. So like a lot of her outfits. Are, are like, very yeah revealing re- re- well, not even just re- they're just ridiculous like they're not they're not even, some of the times they're not even like nice looking they're just like a lot going on um and then sometimes she like uh doesn't really sing there was uh one set she did with like a couple other singers and it looked like none of them knew what they were doing <laughs> and like Aww. just stuff like that um but, uh, you know, I, I know, like, her story and, like, stuff like that. She she didn't sing for a few years and just... So, so you know, I, I, I'll cut her some slack. She's she's uh, still out there doing it, so... As a fellow old lady, there is no age restriction on nipple tassels. Sure, they'll be, like, <laughs> broom in the floor, but there's no age restriction. <laughs> just dusting? Just dusting, yeah. Whatever you gotta do, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, who's like played music when we were younger and now it's making like a comeback uh, well the Backstreet Boys they're doing this like um, beach tour where you go to like a all inclusive resort I'm like hell that's the best way to do anything you have an interest take it to an all, like all inclusive <laughs> resort they know the age of their audience <laughs> yeah that's what it is right <laughs> but it's like yeah they just want to relax by the sun like your yeah. old bones need the sun, man. Like <laughs> and NSYNC is doing their comeback tour. I thought they canceled it. Oh, I don't know if they canceled it. But like I thought Justin's in it. Like yeah, Justin, Justin, like that. yeah, but that's why they're canceling it because Britney Spears came out with the memoir and he's people, getting a lot of flack. People would still go see it. I mean, people knew about it. I know before. Yeah. I agree to that, but I'm just saying, like, that's why he canceled. He canceled everything. I didn't hear about any canceling. Yeah, I heard I, I'm that, checking. They, yeah, no, it was, it was my power. And then uh, Lance Bass like was defending him or something. It was... I love Lance Bass. I follow him on TikTok. Uh, he's we always knew he was gay, but like I'm yeah. so happy he's like happy about it because Disney told him not to come out. You know, like Disney's disgusting. Like Disney's yeah. like pretend you have a girlfriend. Okay, there's nothing coming. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, and so. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about a canceled, uh, just that they reunited. Everything's from September of this year. Uh, it just says that they reunited at the MTV Video Music Awards. Um, and uh, yeah, so maybe there wasn't even 
they just have plans for a reunion, but there's nothing even. So there's nothing canceled and it, no like, actual dates yet. Oh, okay. Because so like I heard the works, that, so I heard that Justin Timberlake canceled everything. No. I, I don't know. That's I, what I, I googled heard. canceled and nothing popped up, but there was no date set either. So it's like reunion in the works, but that's it. In the works. Yeah, so we need a podcast show in the Dominican. Like, a uh, resort or whatever. <laughs> podcast. What are those things? We should Convention. just have a meeting out there. Like, you know, like, work Convention meeting. And a Dominican Republic. Drunk in the that. Dominican. Yeah. Um, you needed Lush's special. No, I'm <laughs> that too. But, like, <laughs> you know how they have, like, the podcast, like, uh, get-togethers with all the podcast people so you can network oh yeah <laughs> so, like uh, a podcast like convention yes they need that at a hotel i like the ones with the slushy <laughs> drink okay maybe we can plug it to the canadian podcast awards and see yeah uh yes jennifer if you're listening <laughs> <laughs> let's book something let's plan it yeah other podcasters involved and go to a resort and get drunk. sonic guy an email be like hey <laughs> hey guys we have an idea we just need funding for it what do you think well you, you still have to pay your own way like but like it's cheap <laughs> just like <y'all laughs> large so, like great yes but like the cost of like a 10 day stay in the Dominican all includes is going to cost the same. It is for me to see you guys for four days at the end of the month. Like it's fucking insane how expensive it is to go to Ontario, stay in Ontario, eat in Ontario. Well, anywhere in Canada. And then you go to this resort and then it's all this food and drink and sun and it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can like put some feelers out on Twitter and see if anyone would be interested. Get someone else to plan it. I don't want to plan it. I just want to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll just we'll get we'll we'll see who's interested and then mm-hmm. we'll choose one of them to plan. It. <laughs> yes. We'll be like, I'll here's go- the information. Uh, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> then it won't get done. Like podcast people are so chill. They're like, eh. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> we might have to plan it. Maybe we'll just plan the getting there, and then the rest of it we just leave. Like we're the all itinerary. There yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all there. yeah, we're there. We're done. Our job's done. Maybe we'll ask old man to do it. <gasps> Maybe. Yeah, his wife. Well, this <laughs> Oh, we'll invite Melanie and have Karen do it. Karen, if you're listening. Yeah, we'll know you what haven't to do. listened to that Books and Booze ep- episode with Melanie Moreland. I uh, highly recommend. It was such a good time. <laughs> Are you good, Sonia? Uh, some of you don't know, but I hurt my tailbone not too long ago. And it's acting up right now. And I tried to readjust, but then my legs stopped working. And I had to sit back down. My arms aren't strong enough to hold me. So I kind of had to plop as quickly as I could without <laughs> Well, that sounds like a good place to end it. It's a so. good, that's a good, that's a good place, guys. It's a good place. Oh my god! Uh, so I do. Um, uh, I don't know exactly when it's announced, but um, we are up for a Canadian Podcast Award for uh, outstanding uh, adult series. So, uh, knock on ceramic that we win. Um, uh, but if not, a nomination's still pretty cool. It's so cool. I love it, by the way. I that was it. like the that was the goal. Yeah. Like just be nominated. That's so great. I'm we so did happy it. For now the yeah. rest is just gravy. So uh so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Also, just a reminder, we have our tipsy all the way 16 hour fundraising Christmas live stream uh on December 2nd at 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. Uh we'll be live streaming via Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. So as long as you follow us on one of those, you will be able to see it. We will have t- Tons of giveaways, uh, lots of awesome prizes if you live near the Hamilton, Ontario area. But we're also going to have a few prizes if you don't. So, of course, check that out. There'll be lots of guests, lots of games, lots of fun. Um, So, yeah, so stop in, donate a little bit, and say hi, and you might win a prize. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And check out details on our website, com. There's, like, a whole little tab. You can't miss it. So it's, like, right at the beginning. Yes. Tipsy we, we tried to make it easy for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's, like any easier, we'd have to have arrows pointing to it. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to once again thank our VIP patron, Stephanie Hurst. Uh, what, what, what songs do you like, Stephanie? Let us know. Yeah. 
Yeah, what, what songs song? are you listening to? Yeah. Only Stephanie. The rest of you shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want thank you to like the rest of our Patreons too. Like that's still super amazing. Yeah. But yeah. Patreon pays. No, Stephanie. Stephanie pays for a VIP shout out. And if you want a shout out, that's our highest tier. Yeah. So thank but you, you so get much. all the all the bonus content on our Patreon, even at the lowest tier. So uh so yeah, check that out. <laughs> um yeah. Well, anyways, have a good night, guys. Good night. Check out any music we like. Check it out. Add it to your playlist. Check Let us know out. what you think. Yeah. yeah. Check out Tepno and Jessica Hart. That's oh, one of my playlists you. that I listen to all the time. There's about 15 songs that are my favorite. That's what goes on <laughs> on a loop. Most of them are Jessica. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, he produces them, so it's still it's still a thanks to him, I guess. His so. name's still on them, but you're there mostly. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you. Number one fan. Shout out, Sonia. VIP. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? What, what? Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.